Hello again, I am Blunty, and this isn't quite the video I wanted to make about this product. In fact, I had the complete product review made for this, which is the Razer Mumba Wireless uh, Gaming Mouse. Uh, but something terrible happened, and that entire video kind of evaporated into the digital ether, and it was really quite frustrating, and I got quite cross with myself, because it was my fault, I made a stupid mistake. No point going into it, but... It wasn't the fault of the mouse, I guess, is the important part for this particular video. <laughs> <laughs> now, wireless gaming mice. You may have heard, you may believe, you may have been told to believe that wireless mice are no good for gaming because, you know, the wireless signal and processing it and sending it, and it, it, it there's, there's latency involved and latency is something you don't want with gaming. And yes, there are a few, very few, maybe one or two wireless gaming mice out there that have been successful in being gaming mice and being wireless mice, but none of them have really suited my needs. One of the best ones out there is pretty good, but it relies on regular batteries. Uh, and I don't want to be swapping regular batteries because if your mouse goes, the battery goes dead and you don't happen to have a pair of double A's nearby and you're kind of boned. Anyway, no point talking about other mice, we're here to talk about this mouse. This is the Razer Mamba. There is a wired version of this called the Tournament Edition of the Razer Mamba, uh, which is very widely regarded as a very good mouse. This is the 2015 Razer Mamba Wireless Edition, and is it an, and it is an extraordinary mouse. It has. Let me get through the the, the tracking basics. I have to read off the back of the box here. It is 16,000 DPI <laughs> laser sensor tracking. It polls at 1,000 hertz. That's a one millisecond response time. Um, it has on-the-fly sensitivity adjustment and blah, 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 blah. But those are the, the basic tracking bits. So it's a very, very sensitive, very, very responsive mouse. And that has certainly come through in my testing. I've been using this thing for several weeks now, and I really like it. My previous daily driver mouse is this, which is the Razer Death Adder. You also might be able to see, I don't know how well the camera is going to pick that up from this distance, but it's, it's a little bit worse for wear. I've had this for many, many years, and it's been absolutely reliable I mean absolutely reliable never have anything to complain about with this mouse uh, and this is very similar in a lot of different ways it has the two um, programmable buttons on the side there it has additional buttons up the top here these are preset for sensitivity so if you're switching between a game where you like to have a very twitchy mouse and your desktop where you want a little more you know relaxed pointing speed you can quickly adjust your sensitivity there or in game if you're running about you know with your pointer and regular and then you go into like a sniping mode and you want different sensitivity you go boop, 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 and it's really good if you've never used adjustable sensitivity uh, on the my, uh, on a mouse before it quickly becomes a thing you don't want to ever live without uh, the scroll wheel feels really nice it's got just the right balance oh I've still got the thing up there it's just the right balance between woo -woo -woo -woo, uh, uh, you know the pressure and and click force and all that sort of stuff click it in for a third button of course but it also clicks side to side for two more programmable buttons which is really nice uh, it has a really nice sort of click feel to it as you can see it, it lights up when I click it there we'll talk about that in a second but Something new on this that the wired version version does not have is adjustable click force. On the bottom, there's a couple little sort of wrench holes here, and they give you a special little tool to do this with. But it's not a it's not a proprietary tool. It's just you know it's a it's a star hex wrench thingy. But you know they give you one just in case you don't have it because it's not a common tool. Um, but you can adjust the click force required to you know activate these. It's not a huge difference between the lightest touch and the heaviest touch. It's very very subtle as a matter of fact. But it it is something. Whoops. <laughs> It is something you can actually feel the difference between, uh, so that may be important to you. Now, as I was getting at before the batteries, built-in rechargeable battery. Uh, Razer say it will last up to about 20 hours of gaming use. This is not just idle desktop use, 20 hours of gaming use. And that's kind of difficult to test in the real world. But in my playtime with it, I've never found myself wishing, oh, bloody hell, the batteries keep running out again. It does seem to go about 20-ish hours worth of use, which is fine. The thing I really like about this, and it comes with a little charging dock here, which also serves as the wireless receiver, um, and we'll talk a little bit more about that aspect in a second, but you can just pop it on there, and it charges, and you, and you get a little lighting effect to let you know it's charging, and whoop, whoop, I'm charging. But, if your mouse is running low, and I've got mine set to, to go red when the when the battery's getting to like 5% or something goes red, I can, you know, see my mouse, oh, it's, the, the battery's running up, it's glowing red, uh-oh, but... Your mouse isn't useless. You don't have to put it on the charger to actually charge it up. You can actually pop out the USB from the back of the charging base, plug it directly into the mouse, and it's especially shaped so it will, uh, when you plug it into the mouse, it looks like it's actually part of the mouse. It's not awkward or clumsy looking. It just looks like 
that's a regular looking wired mouse and it will charge up as you're using it there's even a switch on the bottom you can turn off the wireless radio in there so if you're at a LAN party or somewhere with a lot of other computers using a lot of different wireless devices you want to avoid interfering with someone else you can just turn off that wireless transmitter which will also help with charge faster as well if it's not powering the transmitter for no reason because obviously the receiver isn't unplugged that i really like the cable itself is just like the cable on this pretty much it's a lovely flexible braided cable so it doesn't sort of tangle and knot very easily at all it's nice and robust really like that about it uh, the software that comes with it nice um, if you've ever used any razor product for um in the last few years you'll be familiar with this software it is nice and clean and simple uh, and you can adjust the lighting effects of course you can make it flash and throb and blink and dance to the music and I've got mine just to give me a little just to give me a little flash uh, when I click on it boop boop because uh, well one I don't want the lights on all the time because that will drain the battery slightly faster and the bass flushes as well in sync with it boop mm, fade it's just a nice little playful accent serves no purpose if you want you can turn the lights off completely that's fine um but at the base of it it's a very very responsive mouse um but yeah this is the and i mean the only wireless mouse that i've ever used that i'm satisfied with for gaming in particular it is the only wireless gaming mouse i feel confident in recommending to anybody out there it is a very solid bit of mousing technology it's not overly fancy it doesn't have you know extraordinary details on the bodywork the materials feel nice it's just slightly textured around there and a little bit grippy around the side it feels really nice in hand it is significantly heavier than my old mouse of course it's very much very similar design this is all glossy and stuff which i didn't really love about that but this is the, the new grippy stuff they've been using recently a little bit heavier because of course it's got the battery and the wireless technology and all that uh, stuff inside but you get used to it very very quickly no problem there but it feels really nice in hand it moves nicely along the surface of the desk and everything and you know oops went backwards again boop let's bring up the picture boop there we go <laughs> uh but yeah this is going to be my daily driver from here on in i think razor are going to let me hang on to it they sent it to me for review but um I don't think they're, they're going to ask for it back. Hope not. Anyway, if they do, I might have to buy one for myself because it is really the, the wireless gaming mouse that, uh, that I am 100% happy with. Well, actually, no, I'm not 100% happy with because there was one, one issue that I ran into, and that is this wireless receiver. I'm not sure what technology they use. I don't think they mentioned it on the site, which specific wireless technology they use to communicate with these things. All I know is it's very, very, very low latency, like just it feels like you're using a wired mouse and everything but it's a little bit sensitive to interruption for line of sight i mean it is radio so line of sight shouldn't be that concerning but if i put it so over here on my still shelves for example and down here i ran into some jitteriness from time to time and yes that's a steel shelf and everything so that's blocking some of the signal but even like my can of drink if that was in between my mouse and the receiver sometimes that would cause a little bit of jitteriness so you have to be a little bit careful about where you put the receiver but then again, being the charging cradle, it's probably going to sit in front of your desk anyway, next to your monitor. So that won't be a real issue for a lot of people. But it is something I have to mention because this is a review. I have to mention the good with the bad. Um, so there, there, there I mean, it was a very slight amount of jitteriness, interference almost. It didn't quite lose signal. It just went uh, uh, and didn't track completely properly. And I thought it was the surface for a while. So I changed my mousing pad because my other one was getting all grotty and awful anyway. So, uh, And I did... The Razor didn't send me this. This is a Razor mouse pad. It's really nice, by the way, but I paid cash money for this. So I should have got them to send me one. They probably would have if I asked, but whatever. Um, but yeah, the mouse pads are nice too. But yeah, that is the only thing. And I mean, the only thing uh, in my time with this mouse that I wasn't 100% satisfied with. The wireless signal is a little bit sensitive. But once you get this into a place where it works reliably, just there on your desk, 100% um, 100 success rate. Love it. But that should just about do it. I've, I've gushed about this mouse. There's been one... One not terrific thing that I mentioned that isn't a huge deal breaker, but oh yeah, that's the other thing. The it it you know there's no clips or anything on the base. It just sort of sits there in position there, and that's it. it it's a it's a little bit fiddly sometimes. I, I I would like to be able to just you just go bonk and like have magnets located or something. Um, did that thing again where I pressed the button. <laughs> Whatever, I'll leave that. I, yeah, I, w I wish it had like yeah, just a magnetic attachment so you could just go uh, boom and oh look, it did it that time. I guess I just need to practice. Anyway. or uh, alternatively another thing i would have wouldn't have mind is if this had like a spare battery in it that was all charged up and you go oh my battery's dying and instead of having to plug it in you just go eh, 
battery, boom, this dead battery in there, charged up. That would have been nice too, but that would have added to expense and complexity, and you'd have to have a battery door and everything, so I understand why they didn't do it, maybe on a future edition, but for now, Razer Mamba Edition 2015 Wireless Gaming Mouse RGB Chroma Edition thingy, it's a thumbs up from me as far as I'm concerned. And this review has been awful compared to the one I originally made. The, the, the original one I had script and everything and beautiful shots and it was really well produced. But I think I got the message across in this one anyway. Please do the thing. <laughs> Plan B videos. Please do the thing with the buttons and, and, and share and, and comment and stuff. And let me know uh, what your experience has been with Razer mice and everything. Because I've had uh, two now that I'm absolutely 100% happy with. It's brilliant. I, I really do like Razer gear. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. And we'll catch you next time.